These driverless robo-taxis in Seoul's Sangam Dong district aren't a publicity stunt. They're part of the city's $125 million scheme for self-driving cars. From Tuesday, they'll ferry passengers between the digital media city rail station and nearby apartment and office buildings, charging passengers about $3 a trip. By the end of December, they'll be joined by several more driverless cars, as well as a bus. To ease safety concerns, the mayor stepped in as the first official passenger. At the beginning, I felt a bit awkward and a little bit nervous. But soon the car pulled over and started and changed lanes. I made a left turn and a right turn very smoothly. As I experienced this, I believed it would be a good start to the commercial service. It's a small step, but a large leap considering the difficulty of the research involved. The technology behind driverless cars is being sought after by many major technological companies. US-based Tesla, the market leader in electric cars, is still several years away from completely removing drivers from the equation. Its full self-driving system is still being tested and requires operators to keep their hands on the wheel at all times. Earlier in November, one of its cars crashed in California after a malfunction. But in Seoul, the outlook is more optimistic. Cars are no longer simply about moving around. Autonomous vehicles have shifted the paradigm, leading to disruptive innovation. Autonomous vehicles prevent careless driving by humans, minimizing social costs. Early next year, the city says it will add 10 driverless taxis to the Gangnam district as part of the pilot project's second phase. And if everything goes off without a hitch, the city government wants to grow its self-driving fleet to more than 50 vehicles in the next five years. Alexander Lurch, Al Jazeera.